Welcome to AnyConnect Passing Traffic Common Issues and FTD Managed by FMC. The first common issue is AnyConnect clients cannot access internal resources. Step 1. Verify split tunneling configuration. Select the affected connection profile. Go to Edit Group Policy and select Split Tunneling option. If it is configured as tunnel network specified below, verify the ACL configuration. Navigate to Objects, Object Management, Access List, and select the ACL for split tunneling. Ensure that the networks that you try to reach from the AnyConnect VPN client are listed on the ACL. Step 2. Verify NAT exemption configuration. To do this, navigate to Devices, NAT, and ensure that the NAT exemption rule is configured for the correct source and destination networks. Also check that the right source and destination interfaces have been selected. That exemption rule avoids VPN traffic to be translated to the public IP address. Check the no proxy ARP and perform route lookup options as a best practice. Step 3. Verify access control policy. Go to Policies, Access Control, and select the Access Control Policy to find for your device. Per your Access Control Policy configuration, ensure traffic from the AnyConnect clients is allowed to reach the selected internal networks. AnyConnect clients do not have internet access. If the traffic destined for the internet must go through the VPN tunnel, the most common configuration for split tunneling will be to select Allow All Traffic Over Tunnel. Step 1. Verify NAT exemption configuration for internal network reachability. Remember that we must still configure NAT exemption rule to have access to the internal network. Step 2. Verify hairpin in configuration for dynamic translations. Ensure that the dynamic NAT rule is configured for the correct ISP interface as source and destination. Also check that the network used for the AnyConnect VPN address is selected in original source, and destination interface IP option is selected for translated source. Step 3. Verify access control policy. Ensure that the traffic from the AnyConnect clients is allowed to reach the external resources. AnyConnect clients cannot communicate between each other. There are two possible scenarios for this issue. In scenario 1, AnyConnect clients will allow all traffic over tunnel configuration. All traffic, internal and external, should be forwarded to the AnyConnect headend. This becomes a problem when you have a NAT for public internet access, since traffic from an AnyConnect client destined to another AnyConnect client is translated to the interface IP address, and therefore communication fails. Step 1. Verify NAT exemption configuration. Ensure that the NAT exemption rule is configured for the correct source, AnyConnect VPN pool and destination, AnyConnect VPN pool networks. Also check that the correct herd pinning configuration is in place. Step 2. Verify access control policy. Ensure that the traffic from the AnyConnect client is allowed. Scenario 2. AnyConnect clients with tunnel networks specified below in place. Step 1. Verify split tunneling configuration. Ensure that the AnyConnect VPN pool network is listed in the split tunneling access list. Step 2. Verify NAT exemption configuration as explained in the last scenario. Step 3. Verify access control policy. Ensure that the traffic from the AnyConnect client is allowed. AnyConnect clients cannot establish phone calls. In most cases and scenarios, the VPN phones are not able to establish a reliable communication with the CUCM because the AnyConnect headend has an application inspection enabled that modifies the signal and voice traffic. In this example, SIP inspection is causing the IP phones not to communicate with the CUCM. To disable SIP inspection, follow these steps. Step 1. Verify the global policy map. Step 2. Disable SIP inspection. Step 3. Verify the global policy map again. AnyConnect clients can establish phone calls, however, there is no audio on the calls. Step 1. Verify split tunneling configuration. Ensure that the voice servers and the AnyConnect IP pool networks are listed in the split tunneling access list. Step 2. Verify NAT exemption configuration. NAT exemption rules must be configured to exempt traffic from the AnyConnect VPN networks to the voice servers networks and also to allow bidirectional communication within the AnyConnect clients. Step 3. Verify that the voice application inspection is disabled. Step 4. Verify access control policy. Ensure that the traffic from the AnyConnect clients is allowed to reach the voice servers and involved networks. Thank you for watching this AnyConnect troubleshooting video. See you next time.